Coca-Cola Insider's Box, March 2021. Let's go. Hello, it's John. Welcome back to another review with me. Today I'm going to be opening, unboxing, and trying a few items from the Coca-Cola Insider's Club Box for March 2021. Yes, this one came much earlier in the month than the last two. Uh, I got a notification from UPS that I had something coming. I said Insider, and I was like, well, the Coca-Cola Insider's box is not supposed to come until halfway through the month. It says the 15th is when it usually arrives. And I know last month's came a little bit late, but then this month's came way, way, way early. Um, I think this came March 2nd. So the second day of March, I got the box for March. I'm not complaining. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. I already know what's inside because I had to put some things in the fridge so that I'd be cold, right? so I can taste it in this video. The box looks the same as every other box before it. Let's go ahead and open it up. Refreshment has arrived. Very, very punny. So, Make sure I'm not pushing half my computer off the table here. It comes with this card. It tells you a little bit what's on there. This time on the back, there's a little coloring book page, I'm assuming. It says enjoy. It has some bubbles, a rainbow, and some butterflies. Some clouds. Sit back and unleash your inner child. Ah, so what's in the box this week? We have three beverages. We have AHA, and you either get a raspberry acai or a mango black tea. And I got the raspberry acai. I don't think this is a new product, because I think I've had this before. But it's interesting enough that I will taste it on this video to tell you what I think. Uh, it says naturally flavored and other natural flavors. I think what's new about this is that this is a 16 ounce can. So I think these came in 12 ounce cans before and now they come with uh, the 16 ounce can. I am unsure what this says here. But if you look right here, really close, it, has, it says like 40. But 40 what? It's so small. 40 milligrams of something? What's in this thing? Oh, caffeine. It's the black tea one, though. The mango black tea one has 40 milligrams of caffeine. But this one doesn't have uh, tea in it, so it doesn't have caffeine in it. But, let's go ahead and open it. This has zero calories, zero fat, zero sodium, zero carbs, zero sugar, zero proteins. It is just carbonated water and natural flavors. It is a clear liquid. It smells like raspberries. Let's give it a taste. It tastes pretty good. It tastes very raspberry. Um, you can see there's purple on the bottom, pictures of raspberries right on top, pictures of what I assume are acai. I've never seen an acai in my life. I've never tasted an acai in my life. So I don't know what it's supposed to taste like. I've had things that say they have it in it. So I only have that to go on. It is tasty. It is zero calories. There's no sugar. Um, so, if you're a fan of, like, LaCroix, stuff like that, think about that. And this is a, a, a decent raspberry-flavored option. Second thing in the middle we have is Powerade Power Water Lemon. And that is right here. Powerade Lemon Flavored. This is Powerade Zero Sugar Power Water, electrolyte water beverage. Lemon and other natural flavors. 
Ion 4 electrolytes, which has a registered trademark. Zero sugars with vitamins B3, B6, and B12. Let's look at the ingredients. Ingredients, water, of course, and then less than a half a percent. Natural flavors, citric acid, electrolytes, salt, magnesium, calcium chloride, potassium sorbate, potassium benzoate, ascorbic acid, calcium disodium, EDTA, to perfect flavor. Sucralose, so it does have some sweetener in there. Um, Acasulfame K, vitamin 3, uh, B3, B6, B12, in parentheses, niacinamide, pyroxine, hydrochloride, cyanocobalamin. All right, it's a mouthful. This one has one of these kind of caps to it. And I think there's like a little pull tab. Little plastic pull tab, take that off. And then you can flip it open. And you get that little black mouth tip there. So that way, if you're doing sports, you can just pick it up and squeeze it into your face. That's really good. It tastes like lemonade almost. The level of sweetness is good. It's got some decent uh, tartness to it, which I'm assuming is a citric acid. There's no lemon juice. It doesn't say any lemon flavoring. I assume the tartness and the, and the lemoniness is all from that citric acid. I like that. Powerade, the zero sugar power water. That's actually really tasty. Put that back in because it has a, a cap to it. I can't put the can back in there because cans don't have lids. And the last thing you see Coca-Cola, but it's 100% recycled PET, RPET, sip size Coke or Coke Zero. And I got, which I am pretty happy about this selection, I got the Coke Zero Sugar. I'm not going to open this up. I've had Coke Zero Sugar before. Uh, I really like it. It's probably the diet that I think tastes the most like regular Coke. And the side of this here says, Recycle Me. I'm 100% recycled. Recycle Me again. I like this because, um, unlike when they had paper straws in last month's box, which I don't think is a very big uh, helper when it comes to getting plastic out of the ocean and pollution, I think there's a lot more than... Um, plastic straws that we have to worry about. I think changing plastic straws to paper straws is kind of a cop-out. Puts the blame on other people. Um, makes other people feel guilty and want to do things that uh, inconvenience them way more than it helps. But this is something I can get behind. Um, I don't know a lot about recycled PET or what they call lowercase RPET. It's maybe something I should look up but it says it's 100% recycled. And the thing about plastic is, plastic is not very recyclable. Uh, especially to reform it into like a shape of a bottle, like this one. Interestingly, this is, they say sip size. This is a 13.2 ounce or nine, 390 milliliter bottle. I've never seen anything in a 13.2 ounce before. I don't, it kind of looks like a 20 ounce in my hand, but it's only slightly bigger than a can of soda. Again, I'm not going to open this and taste it, but it actually feels more substantial. Listen to that. It's a th almost, it feels thicker. Look how, I don't know if you can see how thick that bottle is. I wonder if the cap is made of the same stuff. Notice the cap is a little bulging at the tip. And it has a 
has a, I don't know if you can see that on the bottom right here, there's a little recycle thing. It has a number one, and underneath the number one, it says P-E-T-E. Pete. -E. That says pet. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a asterisk. Excludes cap and label. So the cap and the label are not recycled. Or, yeah, they're not made of recycled stuff. But the whole bottle is. And that's the majority of it. Maybe uh, in the future what they could do is print the label information on the bottle itself. That will save you uh, more plastic to use. I don't know about the cap. Don't have an idea for you there. But uh, I like it. Anytime that you can make something more easily recyclable or made out of something that's recycled and it's quality especially like this is feels very quality I don't know how much this is going to change the price of these things um, I kind of think I'm kind of thinking that's more expensive just because recycling in general is usually more expensive um, there are exceptions like aluminum is very recyclable glass is very recyclable but like paper and plastics uh, more plastics recyclable is more of an expensive thing to do and maybe that's why this is a 13.2 ounce uh, I'm gonna take the market of the 20 ounce bottles reduce the size to save money in product and then use that cost savings to fund the recyclable bottle and you know what I'm for it I think uh, a lot of people might get mad like I'm paying the same price for less but maybe you need to drink less soda I'm just saying anyway like that I like the idea and of course we have our swag box inside it says but wait there's more I uh, open this already as, as well, and I'm pretty excited about this. Thing. This is like an old school looking, like, sports drink bottle. Uh, the cool thing about this is, if you look at the tip, it's like one of those, like, kind of like what I like to call like sphincter type valves, where it's like just like the the pressure of it is going to keep it closed for the most part. So like even with, if I push, it takes like a good amount of air pushed out, and even when that happens, it seals itself again, and then it'll allow flow in and out at a certain pressure level, and then you just drink it out of that. It comes out. Um, it has a clear line on the side to tell you how much is in it. Yep, easy twist off. It looks like some little plastic things inside here, so I should probably clean this out before I actually drink out of it. Um, but this is gonna, definitely going to go in my uh, softball bag. Um, this is also recyclable, number four, LDPE, whatever that means. Um, I like the feel of it. I like the grips on the side. Uh, this is definitely going to be coming with me anytime I'm doing like softball or something outdoors uh, throw in the bag there and then we have two really small things I have this coca-cola insiders club sticker it's now this fanny pack that I can wear around my belly I have a bag that I can hold over my shoulder and now I have an insiders club sticker that I can just put anywhere and the other thing I have is this. What is this? Um, it's weird that there's no explanation in the box of what this is. I would not know what this is if not for the fact that my wife has something similar to this already. What this is, it's a webcam cover. It has a little sticker thing on the back. You stick this on your webcam on your computer and then it kind of slides open and slides closed. So let me give you a 
preview of what that would look like from the inside of a computer's webcam. So now you're seeing what the government would see if they try to spy on me. And then I just flip it open. And there you see, this is not flush, so my fingers and little red piece there is covering it a little bit. But you can see then, when I fling it open, you can see right through it. When it's closed, you just see red. You don't see me, government. Cool. Um, I really like this. The, the swag in here, I think, is probably the most useful swag that I'm going to get. I'm probably going to put that thing on my computer. I'm going to use this bottle for sure. The sticker, I think, will go somewhere. Ooh, look, it has a little place to put your name on it. More power for me. Anyway, that's it. The Marsh Box. This is actually, I think, my favorite box of the three. Um, the Powerade uh, Lemon Zero Sugar Power Water. Uh, very flavorful. Has a good sweetness to it. Um, it tastes like lemonade. And uh, I like the, the flip top bottle situation. And uh, the AHA. Very tasty. And uh, the recycled bottle. Great idea. And I'm going to have good use out of that. The only thing I'm probably not going to do is this coloring sheet. Well, that's it for March 2021 Coca-Cola Insiders Club box. So that's the end of this series of Coca-Cola Insiders boxes. Uh, I don't know when they're going to do it again. Um... If it's just going to go up again next month, or if they're going to wait a while till they do another series like this. But I am signed up to get uh, alerts for it. And once it goes out, I will make sure I purchase it again. Because I really like getting this type of stuff in the mail. Reviewing it, opening them up, getting little swag items as well. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you later. Bye.